And we're back, episode two of BQ43, where I give my feedback to your edits. I got a bunch of DMs after episode one, so thank you so much for all of the submissions. I'm gonna try to get to as many of them as possible, but today we got Zach Roberts from Ohio. Let's roll it. Understand this, okay? Nothing from here on out is promised. You're earning everything you get. The whole season, max season, is for this. You gotta be the aggressor. And I always tell you, man, when you want something, you gotta go get it. And we gotta go get this thing today. Okay, everyone look over there. At the end of this game, I want them sorry yes, because their yeah. season over, man. Yes, sir. This one, yes, oh. oh. all season. Yes, sir. All the punch, sweat, tears, man, bring it in. Yes. Try to kill us all three. One, two, three. Try to kill us. Same mentality plus. Be strong with the ball. Get into their body. Cut hard. Right catch, rip, boom, be strong. I want to see that dunk again. to win that game. You did it. You're guaranteed another 40 minutes. Another opportunity to play the league champs right on a neutral court. I'm bringing three suits. Family, I'm to get on six. One, two, three. Family. Four, five, six. Together. All right, so point number one is going to be exposure. To me, this edit felt a little bit too dark. So make sure when you're editing, you're referencing your Lumetri scopes to make sure that your colors are evenly spread from zero to 100, zero being black and 100 being white. That way you know for sure if your shots are too dark or too bright. It also helps to check your histogram when you're shooting to make sure you're properly exposed when you're shooting so that out of the camera, your shots are already exposed. But if it's underexposed or overexposed, make sure to fix it in post. All right, so point number two is gonna be story and sound bites. Personally, I was not a fan of seeing and hearing from the coach three times in this video. In my opinion, what the student athletes have to say is more engaging and more exciting than what the coach has to say, because the coach is just gonna say what every coach says when the game, but you get a little bit more emotion from the players um, in the huddles, in the game action, before the game, after the game. Um, so try to add a little more from the player's perspective and see if there's a story using them. All right, so point number three is gonna be variety of shots. This edit did get a little bit repetitive and boring because every shot of the basket going in was from underneath the basket. If you're allowed to, I would look into moving around the arena and getting shots of baskets going in from different angles. That's what I would do. Obviously, if you're in a situation where you're the only shooter, maybe you're not allowed to boo, maybe you need to get every basket, or you don't wanna do that, which is understandable. Just something to think about. Again, this is not a series on what you have to do. This is a series on what I would do. Keep up the good work at Ohio, and for everybody else, if you would like an edit to be reviewed by me, please shoot me a DM on my social medias, at Billy Quatch Films. Other than that, if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe this video. Stay tuned for the next one and deuces. Still going bad on you anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! I can feel like 80 rest in my memory. Me and